Hey folks, it's the Dryland Fish with you here today to pass along a tip about plastic barrels. If you're like me, you've often come across this uh, standard ubiquitous 55-gallon plastic drum with two bungs in the top. Uh, they're great for any sort of watertight sort of application, uh, hauling liquids, storing liquids, mixing things. But what you often wish is that it had a removable lid uh, where you could take the top off and store things inside and then not get wet uh, even when it's very rainy outside. And what I'd like to show you today is a way that you can slice the top off of this sort of barrel, uh, invert that top over, and make a very serviceable lid uh, for it that will shed water. And in uh, cutting the top of the barrel off to make your lid, uh, you want to be cutting at just about the narrowest point of the barrel, but uh, maybe just right in the middle of the narrow strip that runs around the neck of the barrel. And you can see there where I started my cut, and maybe just a tad closer to the uh, base of the barrel than uh, to the top of it. But still yet, you want to make that cut as straight as you possibly can. And uh, of course, cut all the way around uh, the circumference of the barrel. And here's where we're going to do the uh, Julia Child sort of time-lapse thing, where I'm going to pull a totally cooked souffle out of the barrel here in just a moment. Or maybe I'll just have the lid off the barrel. That would be uh, a little more practical. And there you have the final result, a perfectly serviceable 55-gallon storage container from a plastic drum. Despite my somewhat wavy sawing job, the uh, lid fits very well uh, down onto the top of the barrel, and it does shed water. Uh, the only other thing that you might want to be mindful of is to make sure that your uh, bungs are in place and tight and have gaskets in them. Otherwise, of course, it uh, will not shed water very well. And, of course, the lid here is concave, so it will catch rainwater. And uh, you want to be mindful about opening and closing it. Uh, of course, uh, if there has been rain, you could spill rainwater down into the interior of the barrel. Other than that, a very serviceable storage container, something that you can use around the homestead uh, to keep uh, you know, tools dry or even an industrial-sized trash can, as I said. I hope this video has been helpful to you, that uh, it informs and enables you in your barrel hacking activities. Until next time. It's the Dryland Fish. Have a good one.